application locally, what we want to do is uh, deploy this to Heroku. And by, the, by, uh, by now, you, you will have already installed the Heroku command line interface, and, what you, and you've already created a Spring Boot application, uh, you have an index file, uh, and you want to deploy this. You've already installed it, you've already tried it to run it locally, we've done all that. Right, and you've already committed it, and uh, and it's it's running. It's in the local. It's in the local repository. So what we want to do is is deploy it in the in the in Heroku. So to do that, <clears throat> uh, you can log in. I already logged in. I'm not going to log in again. Uh, we're going to uh, in your directory. In the directory. Right in your Spring Boot directory at the root, right at the root, you're gonna say, type in Heroku create. Oops, create. What that's gonna do is that the CLI is gonna parse the POM file. It's gonna realize that this is a Spring Boot application. It's a Java. It needs a Java server, right? It needs a JDK, right? Uh, so Heroku is gonna set up a a, a machine, right, or a partial machine. Uh, with all the JDK and all the all the dependencies that it needs, right? And it's going to set it up for you, and, it's, and it's, it already did. Uh, and it's also going to come up with a random name for your application. Let's see, it came up with Boiling Wildwood, right? That's the random application where it's going to deploy, right? So it came up with a random domain name for us, okay? And that's fine. Uh, I'm going to say, okay, well, I already. Oh, it also declares uh, git remote. Remember that we only had origin as a remote. It also declares its own remote called Heroku that points to a repository for Heroku that whatever you push to that repository is going to compile whatever we did locally here, Maven clean install, right? And then we did Java jar and whatever. That's what it's going to do. Uh, but in the remote server, right? Whenever you push to that remote repository, it's going to make, do that remotely. So if we say git remote uh, verbose, now we have uh, our origin, which is our default. Whenever you do a git push, it's going to push to our GitHub. All right? uh, but if we want to push to Heroku, it's not the default. Origin means default. Mm -hmm. right? uh, if we want to push to Heroku, we're going to have to say git push Heroku. And it'll push the source code in there. So we already pushed to our GitHub. Let's push to Heroku now. So we'll say uh, push. There it is. Git push Heroku. So this is going to copy uh, our source code that we already deployed to our our, our local machine and copy it in GitHub. Uh, now it's pushing it to. Uh, it's it's parsing our POM file. It sees that we we have all these dependencies. Uh, so it's, it's downloading from a repo from Maven, Apache, or .org. It's downloading all the libraries that it needs. Right? It's going to compile. It's going to link. It's going to uh, package it. And now it's going to deploy it. And eventually it's going to do a Java uh, to start off that, uh, that main file. And uh, it's compressing. It's uh, releasing. And there it is. It's done. Uh, so now we can navigate there. Uh, I don't remember what the application was called. Uh, something boiling, whatever, right? But oh, there it is, boiling wildwood. Uh, so we can either just copy this. Okay, that's I believe that's the name. Uh -huh. uh, wildwood. Okay, not git. Boiling wildwood, and I think it adds. Heroku, Heroku app? Mm, maybe not. Uh, if, I, if you forget, you can always say just, um, we can just say Heroku open. There it is. I almost got it right. It was boiling dash uh, wildwood, oh, dot Heroku app dot com. Sorry, not dash. It was a dot. Right? Notice it's the same welcome to web app, web dev that we have running locally. So now we can run it locally, or we can, you know, once, once you know, we do our local development, once we're happy with our local development, we push to GitHub, and we push to Heroku, and it redeploys in the remote server. Make sense? 
Awesome.